Good morning. <clears throat> we have had a heck of a winter here in uh, the mountains of Switzerland, at least this particular portion of Switzerland. Uh, last week I heard that since December uh, we've had four meters of snow and we've had another meter in the last week or so. It's absolutely incredible how much it's snowing. Uh, Sunday night at dinner uh, Lydia came and said, hey dad there's new cracks in our ceiling and their ceiling is underneath a terrace uh, which measures about uh, I think 10 meters by 5 meters so a big big terrace out back and the snow on the terrace was over my head which those of you who know me that's not really an astounding feat but it's pretty damn big I mean it's um, about 5, 6 so that's a lot of snow and I looked down and it looked like the cracks possibly were from a little excess weight on the, the um, deck so I yesterday started around 11 o'clock and at 5 o'clock I was finished shoveling the snow off. I built ramps to dump it over the side and finally got it all off. Well, there's another 6 to 8 inches on the deck this morning uh, from the storm that is going on, has gone on most of the night. Uh, and my point is not to give you our weather forecast or tell you that skiing is pretty good when you can ski because of the avalanches and the new snow. There's days like today when you just can't ski, everything closed. Uh, but what I want to take issue with is this thing called these predictions of global warming. I'm not saying whether it exists or not. I don't know whether it exists or not. I'm not a meteorologist. I'm not uh, paid to be politically influenced one way or another. I know uh, Mr. Gore has apparently made millions of dollars with his inconvenient truths. Uh, and I just, I, maybe I'm cynical, maybe it's skeptical, I don't know. But they have not predicted this winter to be this uh, blustery and uh, they can look back, oh yeah, we predicted this, but I've not heard the predictions. And uh, I was talking to my daughter, who I drove down to the train station today to not go to work, because she got partway to work and couldn't get to work because of the snow, that I read uh, there were people watching a radar thing and a, and a hurricane spontaneously formed in the ocean uh, and none of the conditions were right and the scientists are absolutely baffled. Uh, I find it difficult to believe this concept of global warming. Uh, we've only been watching the weather for, uh, I don't know how long, maybe a couple hundred years, maybe, with accuracy. And then we're saying that we're predicting how things are going on the planet, uh, when we can't even predict from one day to the next how the weather is going to be. Uh, it just, I look at things, I look at how they're keeping us absolutely terrified and scared of different things, and I think this is another thing to keep us absolutely engaged in, oh my God, look what's happening. Let's get to the moment. In this moment, in present time conscious, right now, look around. How do things look right now? Uh, how do you feel? What do you notice? What do you notice in your body? And, and this moment is the only moment in time we have. Uh, and enjoy it. It's one of the options... And what you have to do is get out of all the enculturated bullshit that you're being fed and enjoy this moment. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com My book, by the way, Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing, is there's some little tricks and tips in there on how to get to present time consciousness. You may enjoy that. Have fun.